Hi everyone, welcome to this video sharing session where we'll be discussing the degree programs for the Division of Mathematical Sciences. My name is King Ming and I will be sharing the key features of the math programs and all of the exciting things that you can look forward to should you decide to choose us. Many of you are at this crucial crossroads of your life and you perhaps have many questions, anxieties and so on. For example, you may be asking what kind of a subject is, is suitable for me? What can I expect from university life? How can I choose a course that would benefit me the most? All of these questions are justifiable, reasonable, and believe me, all of us have been there. The main aim of this short video is to give you more information about the degree program in math and to let you decide if this is the right course for you. Again, feel free to contact us if you have any further questions regarding our programs. Some of you may have heard from elsewhere that mathematics is perhaps a really dry and boring subject. Or you may have also heard that mathematics is really theoretical and is not very useful for future career choice. Some of you may also have heard that studying math at the university level really limits your options and you can only do certain careers in the future. Now, all of these are not entirely true. The world has changed rapidly in the past couple of decades with emerging technologies in the industry and they have come to require the skills that will enable the effective use and exploitations of these new technologies. It is now no longer crucial for employees to perform the processes that are already in place. We have all kinds of automation and increased computing power to perform these tasks. The role of employees have now shifted to performing a higher level function. Various kinds of analysis are now required of employees, for example, of the data kind, statistical or numerical. A math program can enable you to develop key skills in the following areas. Problem solving. This can also be developed in many university courses, but a mathematics degree provides the most extensive training in this direction. We will encourage you to look at problems in different ways and to form creative solutions to different kinds of problems. You will learn problem solving skills not only in terms of math and technical skills, but also to look broader beyond the curriculum. We will also teach you transferable skills. NTU is committed to the all-rounded development of our undergraduate students. We recognize that computing skills, data analysis, and management skills are key in this world. Organization, communications, and decision-making skills are also expected to be part of your curriculum. Another important reason to study math is that virtually almost every career every sector is looking to leverage on the emerging IT and, and data technologies. However, in order to do so effectively, you will require math skills to link the given problem to the exploitation of the technology that's po possible. For example, to solve problems, you will first need to convert the real world problem at hand into a mathematically sound and well-formed problem before all kinds of math or data analysis can be first performed on it. This is where you will require the advanced math modeling and optimization skills that you can expect to pick up from a math degree. Here are some examples of industry sectors that value math skills and where our graduates have successfully found employment in. In the finance and insurance sectors, no longer are these the domain of business graduates. A large number of our students have found jobs there. Financial and insurance sectors now require a lot more than just pure finance or business-related knowledge. In fact, advanced mathematics is used in risk management and financial mathematics. In the supply chain sector, the rapid popularity of online businesses, including online selling and food delivery sectors, require a lot of back-end support. For these businesses to run efficiently, Math skills are needed to optimize their operations and for effective scheduling of fleet movements. In the IT sector, if you are really passionate and good at programming or computing, you'll be happy to know that many employers are willing to hire non-computer science students in the back-end, IT, or programming roles. In the cybersecurity business, the increasing use of online services for almost everything means that it is now even more critical to protect our identities and privacy online. 
to land a good career there and to give yourself the distinct advantage over other students, you will need good mathematical knowledge. Our division has a very strong cryptography and cybersecurity group and is one of the best in the world. We have seen some exciting prospects that match the skill sets of our math graduates. But what about mathematics at NTU? What are its unique points? How does it compare to other programs? Mathematics at NTU is flexible and customizable. There are many attractive combinations of double majors, second majors, tracks and specializations, as well as electives to choose from. You can take charge of your own learning. For example, you may choose to mold your learning based on your interests, or perhaps you would like to develop in certain strategic directions. Workforce ready. NTU's curriculum focuses on preparing students for the workforce and to be digitally ready. Soft skills are imparted as part of the curriculum and the curriculum is designed to be broad-based. All of our courses are designed for the graduates to see their applicability and to master the technical skills that can be used and applied in the real-world situation. NTU also has very strong industrial connections and there are long-standing relationships with our industrial partners. And there's a lot of career building and strong internship programs as part of your curriculum. We also have a set of dedicated faculty who focuses on great pedagogical methods. When you think of a math professor, you may think of perhaps an old and very unapproachable uh, person. However, this is not true. Our faculty are all quite young and they're all very friendly and they have dedicated professors with constantly evolving teaching methods. Our stable program, which is, has the largest enrollment so far, is a single degree program, Bachelor's of Science in Mathematical Sciences. This is our most flexible program so far, and as mentioned before, you can decide how best to plan your study. We also have math paired with other programs. Here we have Mathematics, Single Major, Bachelor's of Science Honors in Mathematical Sciences. You can also choose to pair the Single Major program with a minor in Finance. Next, we have the double major programs. Under the double major programs, you can choose to study math with economics, mathematics with computer science, and physics with mathematical sciences. You can also choose to do mathematics with a second major. Under the second major combination, you can choose second major in data analytics, a second major in entrepreneurship, or a second major in sustainability. Finally, we have entered partnerships with other schools. The Data Science and AI is a very popular program that's run jointly with the School of Computer Science and Engineering. The Economics and Data Science program is a partnership between SPMS, which is the School of Physical and Mathematical Sciences, as well as the School of Social Sciences and Computer Science. Next, let me give you a quick overview of our main program, the single major degree. What can you expect to study in this program? In the first two years, you will take core courses to prepare you for a rigorous foundation in mathematics. Examples of these courses are in calculus, linear algebra, discrete mathematics, probability and statistics, and as well as some important programming courses. In the second year, you will get to choose from one of the four tracks also known as specializations, which I will elaborate on in a while. In the third and fourth years, this is where the most exciting times of your undergraduate life will be. You can choose to engage in all kinds of important and very interesting activities, such as doing an internship, going on an overseas exchange, engaging in final year projects, different research projects, and lots more. In the main program, the single major in mathematics you get to choose your track or specialization in the second year. This allows for you to design your learning entirely based on your choice. For instance, if you want to learn more about modeling and learn how to apply these to solve real world problems, you should go with applied mathematics. If you would like to help sets of data or numbers to tell the stories, you can go with the statistics track. Statistics track is actually a very in interesting track and it is more than just computing the mean or the median. Here you will learn to specialize in the analysis, interpretation, and the presentation of data for key stakeholders. 
if you would like to learn how to apply the statistical and modeling and computing tools to help to make important business decisions and to give insights to business operations, you can go with our business analytics track. Finally, if you're a person who is more interested in fundamental knowledge and fundamental science, and perhaps you seek to understand the methodologies deeply and perhaps learn how to develop new ones, you should go with the pure mathematics track. Here is a list of all the double major programs that mathematics is involved in. First, we have the mathematics and economics. This is run jointly with the division of economics in the School of Social Sciences. In this program, you will learn about using key mathematical tools and modeling skills to make economic decisions and analysis in the financial market. Next, we have the mathematics and computer science double major. This is a partnership with the School of Computer Science and Engineering. In this program, undergraduates are trained to meet challenges that require important computing and strong mathematical skills. This is required for undergraduates who seek to work at the frontiers of mathematics and computer science. In this program, you can choose from several specializations, for instance, the theoretical computer science, cybersecurity, financial modeling, and data science. Finally, we also have the double major in physics and mathematical sciences. This is a partnership with our sister division, the Division of Physics and Applied Physics. In this program, undergraduates will learn to specialize using computational and analytical skills to analyze the natural world. The topics here include differential geometry, general relativity, and quantum field theory. And this is for students who want to build up a solid foundation in theoretical physics. The following is a list of second majors that mathematics is involved in. First, we have the mathematics and with a second major in data analytics. This is for students who are interested in the analytical and computational aspects of data analytical skills. And this is especially suitable for students who are interested specifically in data-related jobs. Next, we have two new second majors launched this year. We have the mathematics with a second major in entrepreneurship. And this program aims to equip students with the fundamental entrepreneurship competency and to enrich them with the mindset to seize new opportunities in the technologies. Finally, we have mathematics with a second major in sustainability. And in this program, students can learn to integrate advanced mathematical methods in, in the di direction of technological innovations, which are targeted specifically at solving the environmental challenges of the world. Now let's talk about internship. Internship is compulsory in the program and you can start applying for internship opportunities in the third year. We have internship opportunities across a variety of sectors, ranging from government-linked companies, and these include research institutes such as ASTAR, DSO, different kinds of ministries, and statutory boards. We also have students going to banking and finance sectors, for example, MAS and OCBC Bank, as well as private sectors, including companies like Shopee and Ernst & Young. For those students who choose, to exp who choose to want to experience more internship time, there is the work-study degree program. This is a structured program that allows students to experience practical training at the industry while studying, and students will expect to spend up to 40 over weeks at the company. The Overseas Exchange Program is a key highlight of many undergraduate students' journey. You can choose to spend one semester on exchange at an overseas partner university. There are also more short-term options, two to six weeks. Here, when you go on an overseas exchange, you can map the courses taken at the overseas partner university and get credit for them uh, at NTU courses. There is also an option for you to do a local exchange to NUS or SMU. Finally, let's look at the list of top employers as well as the top occupations after graduation that our graduates have engaged in. And this is according to the Graduate Employment Survey 2021. As you can see, the top employers are not perhaps not the ones that you might normally associate with a boring mathematics degree. They come from vibrant, varied, and there's an exciting range of companies ranging from banks, government-linked organizations, and even Shopee, which have made the list this year. The top occupations are also not what you might have expected or perhaps have heard about from your friends. These top occupations that our graduates have found work in 
range from data jobs, software developers, financial or business consultants, and even IT security. Are these the career paths that excite you? Or perhaps you seek a less well-trodden path that you think a math degree might enable you to engage in? Whatever your choice is, we would like to hear from you if you have any other questions. I hope this has been a useful session and that you have seen more of what math is about and can offer you. And I hope to see some of you soon.